All right, so I came home from work and I wanted to show you guys a first look at the Air Jordan 11 in the triple black colorway, also known as the Blackout, also known as the Prom Night, also known as the Cap and Gown, but let's go ahead and show you guys these in this video. What is going on guys, Has here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description. I gotta show you these. This is the uh, triple black colorway, and it comes in the Air Jordan 11 box, as we all know and love. And um, basically, this is the shoes right here. We have the pullout box, as you can see, and it has some of this action going on here. No, that's dope. I don't know if I've ever noticed this, the words on this thing before, but it actually says, Tinker made these shine, Mike made them fly, you made them iconic on top of the box. Uh, that's kind of cool. So it comes with a carbon fiber looking uh, paper right here. And here we go. These things look crazy, man. I am like super, super stoked about these. So I know first things first, wanna throw this out there. A lot of people are already saying, well, why not just get the gammas and paint them black? Because that's all these look like. But uh, I have to disagree. I think that these look different than the gammas. By the way, if you guys actually wanna see a comparison of these next to the gammas, weigh in in the comment section and smack the thumbs up button uh, all day today. Because when I go to work tomorrow, I will actually stop by like index and grab the gammas to do a detailed review if you guys want to have that but i sold all of my air jordan 11s except for my concords so i don't have them anymore unfortunately otherwise i do a comparison uh, of these two next to each other but uh, the fundamental difference though right out of the box is a couple of different things this is like a suede um nubuck type material instead of that ballistic nylon or whatever they end up calling it so that's obviously the hugest difference of this uh, the patent leather, as we know and are accustomed to, and this is the high cut, which is similar to the Space Jams. And for those that don't understand what I mean by a higher cut, I'm talking about this part right here. You can see that this comes way, way higher on the uh, new repairs than on the uh, older, like, retros right here. These, these older retros had a much lower, lower cut right here. But uh, a lot of people actually prefer this look over, like, the kind of OG feel of this, so kind of interesting. Leave a comment in the comment section, what do you think? Do you like the patent leather going higher or do you like it more like lower, like looking like a little bit of a trim uh, versus this? Uh, I honestly, I kind of actually prefer this. I kind of like it more as like a little bit more of an accent and it feels just a little bit more exaggerated on like one of these, but honestly for this colorway, it doesn't really matter because it's all triple black anyway. This pair was crazy expensive. In my opinion, it was $250 retail. And here's a box for those that want to see it. $250 is a price point, and the color is black, black, black. And that is it. I mean, so I love the fact that this is kind of like the triple black colorway. If you guys do not remember, there was a triple black pair of 11s that hit eBay years ago, and it went for some odd crazy tens of thousands of dollars. And I believe the perfect pair actually has a pair of those. But that sample was crazy, and then the rumor was that those were going to be releasing, and then this is kind of what we ended up getting instead of that release so i like that it's a little bit different if they would have released the actual sample one that they had back in the day the triple black one i think it would have been kind of weird but this one to me is just a, a super super fresh colorway i know it's all black so it's not really a colorway but i love everything about this shoe i like that it uses a different like suede material for this part right here 
I also love this little guy right here. It's a little metal jump man, which is a nice accent and a nice touch. And then you have the stitching on the back of the shoe right here. So instead of just a little sticker here on the top, you actually have this embroidered on the back of the shoe, which I think is a super nice detail that uh, most people will just will overlook from a distance. It does have that Jordan logo down here that we've seen many, many times. And you can see it's kind of a smoked out color. With the triple black theme, you can see that the black carbon fiber and then a jump man underneath the bluish smoked sort of sole on the bottom. And just so you guys can see a comparison between the bottoms of the shoe, you can see the jump man here, obviously, instead of here, triple black. I do like the fact that they did clear soles instead of a black sole. I honestly think it looks cooler this way. Let's go ahead and take the shoe tree out. So there you go, you have the plastic shoe tree with the jump man on it. The insoles are nothing fancy. It's a standard insole with the jump man on the bottom. You have the same traditional lock down as you do on all of the Air Jordan 11s. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the rope laces are a little bit different. It's supposed to be sort of like the tassels on the cap and gown sort of thing. And then you could see that it actually has metallic lace tips. So you do get a little bit of a premium feel for that extra 30 bucks that they charge you for the Air Jordan 11 uh, at the $250 price point. All right, so the name ended up changing on these. They were actually called the Prom Knights, I guess. And then I honestly flamed them. I thought that was just the worst name ever for a pair of shoes. Like it, it should have just been called the Triple Blacks or the Blackouts. Honestly, it should just been called the Blackouts. But the way I ended up getting these before the release was pretty cool. A J23 app, if you don't follow him on Instagram or Twitter, uh, he actually posted the image that used the uh, augmented reality system in the Nike sneakers app. And if you use that, you were able to unlock these shoes when you went into your sneakers app. I showed other people how to do it and a lot of people said that they copped. Uh, leave a comment if you guys are watching this video and you ended up copying because uh, of what I ended up reposting. But, but anyways, that's how I ended up purchasing them, which was pretty cool. And I know sometimes people don't really like these type of releases because if you weren't around a computer uh, or you were in class or you're busy or whatever it might be, um, or driving, you wouldn't have probably been able to cop. But one of the things that I do like is the fact that it was a random drop and people like myself that have been striking out nonstop on sneakers actually got a chance. And I'm not talking about just striking out on like limited items here and there. I like strike out on things that don't even sell out. Because of that, I like I was glad that I was actually able to get these um, and uh, sneakers actually worked for me. But what do you guys think about that type of release? Leave a comment in the comment section. So the big subjective question that a lot of people are asking, is it worth buying? the cap and gown Air Jordan 11s. If you're gonna be trying to buy these just to resell, honestly, it's not gonna to be too much money in it for you. Retail is 250, market price is under 350 already. For me personally, yes, it's worth buying because I think it's a super dope pair of sneakers. I love the fact that this is a colorless shoe and you can really wear it with everything. Sometimes you want your sneakers to be the only thing on the outfit that pops with a black lid and a black t-shirt and jeans and then a colorful pair of shoes. But if you have like a, a t-shirt or a hat that you want to pop more, you can do that and then wear these on feet, which are still fire, but you don't have the colors of the gammas or anything like that throwing off the outfit. I'm honestly surprised it took them this many years to make a pair of sneakers like this come out. This is just one of those pairs that I just wanna get and automatically throw straight on feet because I really, really like the product. So absolutely worth buying for me. I don't care about the resale. I'm just really, really glad that I got them early so I don't have to struggle on release day to get a pair. Um, and I'm just happy that I was actually able to get them before the, uh, the major release. Just to give you guys a preview of what you could be getting because this is a great pair of sneakers in my opinion, uh, if you can afford it. And that's kind of the only downside, a little bit of a con, is that the price point is again that $250 range it's just expensive i mean if you're asking for a graduation present from your parents this might be the only thing you get because they're so darn expensive i remember when i graduated eighth grade my present for my parents was a like 20 maybe 29 dollar pair of headphones that i really really wanted and then i ended up working that summer picking berries which was terrible but i did i picked raspberries and i got them stolen somebody stole them i put my headphone and my walkman down at the end of an aisle where i was picking berries for a second and I went back to go get it and somebody stole it. I was so, so hurt. But uh, but yeah, that was no fun, man. Anyways, I think that these are dope. I'm really excited that I ended up getting a pair. And there's been so many pairs of Jordans releasing recently that a lot of them haven't caught my attention. In fact, it's been quite the opposite where I'm like, those are trash -o. Like I wouldn't be caught dead in those. Or I'm just like, I'm not really feeling what they've been releasing. And so this one is like that breath of fresh air that I needed from Jordan brand to bring me something that I really, really wanted to add to my collection. So thank you to Jordan brand for creating something dope, dude. Anyways, if you guys are trying to cop these on release day, check the link in the description. It will take you to the top deals of the week. And I always post the upcoming releases there. So I'll definitely have links 
to be able to purchase these when they end up dropping. But thank you guys for stopping by and watching. If you guys really do want to see the comparison between these and the Gammas, leave a comment and slap the like button and I will try to do that video. The subscription boxes have been really, really crazy on YouTube. So if you guys have been missing my videos, maybe go check the channel and then scroll down and see what past videos I recently posted. Post some, some pretty good ones that just haven't got a lot of traction. But if you guys are new to the channel though, hit the subscribe button, notification bell if you wanna be notified of when I post. And thank you guys for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace guys.